Hello, friends today, we will learn about different data link layer protocols. As we can see in the chart, there are two main categories. First is noiseless channel and second is noisy channel. Let us start with simplest protocol in noiseless channel. In simplest protocol, data transmission happens only in one direction. As we can also see in the animation, the transmitter and receiver nodes are always ready. The receiver has infinite buffer space. There is no error, no damage and no loss of the frame in this protocol. This is an ideal protocol it can't achieve practically. Let's see another protocol in noiseless channel which is stop and wait. In stop and wait protocol, after a successfully received frame, the receiver will send an acknowledgement to the transmitter. After receiving an acknowledgement of previous frame, then and then, the transmitter will send next frame which can be seen in the animation. If data frames arrive at the receiver site faster than they can be processed, the frames must be stored until their use. Normally, the receiver does not have a large storage space. Let's jump on to noisy channel, in which first of all we will learn about stop and wait automatic repeat request. As we all know that stop and wait ARQ is a noisy channel protocol. So frames can be damaged or lost and out of sequence transmission can be happen. To solve that we have to assign sequence numbers to frames. In this protocol only two sequence numbers are being used which are 0 and 1. In the starting transmitter will assign a frame with 0 and send it. After receiving 0th number frame perfectly, the receiver will generate acknowledge for 0th number in that it will ask for next frame which is first, and then send it. The transmitter will also wait for the acknowledgement, after receiving acknowledgement perfectly, then and then it will send next frame. As we have seen in case 1 there is no loss. Let's see what will happen if fame is lost in transmission path. The transmitter will time out and it will resend the frame. Now let's see what will happen if the acknowledgement lost. As seen in the previous case, the transmitter will time out, it will resend the frame, but this time the frame was perfectly received at the receiver. The receiver will just simply discard the resended frame, and resend the acknowledgement. Let's learn another protocol in noisy channel, which is go back to N, automatic repeat request. As we have seen in the previous protocol the transmitter is wasting most of the time in waiting for acknowledgement. The go back to N is solved that problem by sending a bunch of frames together. But in this protocol transmitter and receiver both have larger buffer size. Let's take an example the window size is 4. So the sequence number range will be decided by the formula sequence number equals 2 raised to M minus 1 where m is the window size. So the sequence range is 0 to 7. Let's see the animation, consider that there is no loss in the path. For explaining what if the second number frame is lost in the transmission. So, the frame number third will be discarded even if it is perfectly received. Then transmitter will time out for second number frame. 
and it will send the whole window 0 to 3 again. The same example in sliding window case, the only difference is the window will slide up to lost frame, and then it will send the window, in this case it is 2345. Let's see the remaining animation and learn the concept of go back to N, sliding window. Now the last protocol of noisy channel, which is selective repeat. This protocol is slightly different than go back to NARQ. The difference is, when any frame is lost the transmitter will not send the whole window again. The transmitter will send only the lost frame. Or it can be seen as the transmitter will resend only that frame, which it doesn't get the acknowledgement. So this protocol is better than the go back to N. In selective repeat sliding window, can be learned by watching the animation. Thank you for watching this animation. We hope that the animation helps you to understand the concept of data link layer protocol.